Hello guys, I am Swabhi from Being Engineers. From the title and intro you already know what we are going to do today. So to start off the project, first of all we have to insert the SD card into the Pi. Connect the USB jack of the webcam to any of the four available USB ports, power of the Pi and connect the Ethernet cable from the Pi to the router. If you are using a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B version then you don't need to do it because you can work over the Wi-Fi also. Finally connect the pen drive to the Pi. The pen drive should be previously formatted. It is not mandatory but I will recommend it to do it. Now if you are concerned about the space requirement then this might help you. Let the image resolution be 720p and the approx size will be 500 KB per image that is equal to 0.5 MB. In a 16GB pen drive we get a maximum of 15 GB in average. Taking 1 GB is equal to 1024 MB, we get 15,000 MB in a 16 GB pen drive. So the number of photos that can be stored is more than 30,000. Now I want to take a 24 hour time lapse. Then there is total 1440 minutes. So if we take one picture in every minute, so the total space requirement will be 720 MB. In a 24 hour time lapse, by these settings, you will get a total data of 720 MB. So by calculation, we can see that we can take the time lapse up to 21 days if we use this configuration or these settings. So everything is set up now. Let's do the configuration. First of all, you need to know the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. So open your browser and go to your router settings page. Find the list of the corrected devices and find the name Raspberry Pi with the IP address. So for my case, you can see that my Raspberry Pi IP address is 192.168.0.105. Close this browser and remember this IP address we will need it later. Open PuTTY and type in your IP address and connect to your Raspberry Pi. Login with your username and password which are Pi and Raspberry in default. Every time you boot up your system, it is recommended to update and upgrade your Raspberry Pi or the Raspberry OS. So you have to do it but I have done it already so to save some time. After this start your VNC server by the command tight VNC server. For this the VNC server app has to be installed previously. If you don't know how to do it then I will put a link in the description box below. Now we have to install the motion software. Type in the command sudo space apt hyphen get space install space motion and press enter. I have done it already so I don't need it again. Now type in the command lsusb to confirm the camera and the pen drive is detected to the Pi. If it is not shown there, then there might be some problem with your camera or your pen drive or this might not be supported in this motion software. So here you can see the board device attached and in the newer version of the Raspbian OS, you don't need to manually mount the pen drive. The Raspbian OS automatically mounts the pen drive to some directory. To so found the directory where it is mounted, type in the command shown in the screen and press enter. Here you can see the pen drive with my name and this is the mounting part and this is where the pen drive is mounted. So copy the path, we will need it later. So to configure the motion software type in the command sudo space nano space slash etc slash motion slash motion dot cnf and press enter. Follow the on screen comments and change the settings in the configuration file. When done, press Ctrl plus X and Y to save and enter to confirm. Again you have to change some settings, type in the command sudo space nano space etc slash default slash motion and press enter. Here we have to change the settings that is shown on screen and again press Ctrl plus X to exit, press Y to save and enter to confirm. Now these all settings are ok, type in the command sudo space service space motion space restart and press enter, this will restart the motion software to save the configuration. Now start this motion software again by giving the command sudo space motion and enter. Now the process is started, you can confirm that 
by your VNC server. So open VNC server and connect to your Raspberry Pi monitor. When you are in Raspberry Pi monitor, open your file system and go to that directory what we have copied earlier. That is media, then Pi, and then there is the pen drive. You can stay in this window. You can see that every 10 seconds there will be an image which is added in the list and that's how you can get all the images of 24 hours or 48 hours whatever you want to do when done take out the pen drive and insert it into a laptop so i am in my laptop and these are the images for my time lapse now you can make the time lapse with several softwares search on youtube and you will get excellent content on how to make a time lapse out of images I will do mine here and we will put some effects and color correction and do the final editing and we will come back when it is done. So the editing is done, the film is rendered and you can see the time lapse here. So the time lapse is a 14 hour time lapse that is shown in 20 seconds. So total of 400 to 500 pictures have been taken in this total time lapse. So here at the time lapse you can see the picture quality of the time lapse is not so good because I don't have a very good quality USB webcam. I have a budget range USB webcam from Logitech but you can use a higher range or a professional webcam that can shoot 1080p or has an autofocus also so the timeless will be better in quality. Hope this video helps you. If yes then please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow this channel in social media and all links are given in the description box below. See you in the next video. Till then bye and take care.